whilst I like so many of you uh, lament and are sad that uh, we can't gather together in the ways that we used to I think for us as church it offers up new opportunities for us to find new ways of expressing the worship that should be rising from our hearts I mean we've always talked about worship being a lifestyle and not being limited just to singing singing is important yes sharing that experience with other people is very very important relationships and 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 singing two very very precious gifts from our god and yet there are other ways of being together I mean, I've been looking up at YouTube and seeing the way that people are using dance in uh, amazing ways. I've even seen a, a whole group in Africa are doing line dancing, which is quite something. <laughs> Fresh ways of doing our worship, creative ways, we can look for them. We can use silence, we can use meditation, we can use Bible reading, we can read the Psalms and imbibe them into our hearts. But you know, whilst it's good to be within the four walls, it's great to take the church out. And uh, some have been going to car parks and drive-in worship services, that's great. But also to go out into the forest, to go out into the hills and to see the richness of the God of creation and allow our hearts to be filled with a sense of thankfulness and, and wonder. You know, sometimes we get so locked into a certain way of doing things that we don't see the bigger picture. And getting outside of those four walls enables us to do that, to lift our heads up and see something of the glory and the majesty. And allow, as Tozer himself so eloquently put, allow our hearts to be moved with astonishment and a sense of awe.